Okay, so we got the go-ahead from the fire department and public works that we can start painting our 250-some fire hydrants. Back to red. This is the color that I got from BNJ Hardware. It's a Rust-Oleum product called Carnival Red. So we're going to try this one out. This is what they suggest. Um, and uh, we're going to go from there. So already shaking the can up. I'm going to start the process of clearing everything out. Found it. All the way to the bottom. Some of the videos I watch, they just use a scraper. Uh, that'll work, it takes time. I do have a Milwaukee angle grinder that I'm gonna try to use, but the wire bristle brush won't work just fine. Definitely need eye protection. Working really good. The point is to get as much of the excess rust off and give it a nice surface to uh, for the blue paint to stick to. All right, I'm gonna pause it here and then spend a little time on sanding it down. Okay, that was maybe like five minutes with this bristle brush, real brush. I bought, I also bought this at B&J. I think it was like 10, 15 bucks, I can't remember. Makes it a lot quicker than, and easier than the, doing it by hand. But the key is just to get off some of the old rust and, and just kind of get it ready for painting. Take a clean towel, wipe all the extra dust or rust off. This hydrant says uh, 2006. I've been here since 1998, and I don't ever, I'm not saying that hasn't been done, I just don't remember ever seeing these things painted, so should be a good, easy little project for us. Again, take your Rust-Oleum, Carnival Red, and spray, spray like eight to ten inches away, make sure it's not too windy of a day. I guess I already shipped this up quite a bit before. The biggest thing that you don't want to do is put too much paint inside of things that come off or this top this top uh, nut that they have to uh, unscrew to open the line up. Now, a thing like this, less is more, because you can always do multiple coats. Short little burst, set about eight to 10 inches away from whatever you're spraying. We're going to hit the top just a little bit, not too much. And since we're right out the hardware, the outside the hardware store, I apologize for all the traffic noise. So you can even get the chains in there. Just don't, like I said, just don't overspray anything. And if you do get like runs or anything, you can either have a brush with you or just take your uh, take your towel if needed and wipe it off let it dry start over the key 
see is just not getting too much paint on its foot so it starts running. Make sure you're not letting any paint get in where the threads go. Just a nice little coat. And I'll shut the video off here and then I'll finish it up and then take some uh, leftover some finished, completed pictures. I'm going to guess this maybe took me 20 minutes from the time I started to the end product here. I'm going to come around and give it another coat or whatever if needed, but it's one coat seemed to go on pretty well. Like I said, make sure you're not getting uh, too much where the threads are so the fire department can still open them up. On the bottom, it's fine to get extra, so when they're weed whipping, it can kind of take a little bit more of the abuse. And that's it. One of 251, I think, done.